Welcome to the Architects Workshop. We start our series on architectural building construction through a theoretical study of building components and details of their connections. But before we jump in, we're going to look at a shape that we all recognize. Let's draw a car, a cartoon version of the car. Starting with the wheels, we describe the basic shape of the car and a little detail of the doors, the windows, the windscreen. What we have drawn here is what we call an elevation. Let's draw the front with the grille, the headlights, fenders, windscreen and all. If this is the side elevation, this is the front elevation. We kind of understand what the car looks like and the basic shapes involved. Now that we've understood what elevations are, let's move on to architecture itself. The epitome of design in its simplicity, yet drawn by most of us when we were much younger. The image that first pops into your head when we say house. With the simple pitch roof, a centralized door, windows on the side, not to forget the chimney. And a tree to combat the climate change, of course. So what we have drawn here can be called an elevation, an elevation of the house. But what would this house look like in 3D? Let's find out. Drawing something in 3D isn't very difficult. We start with two 30 degree lines to the horizontal line of the page, then proceed to draw parallel lines from both sides. This makes a grid which we'll use to draw the house. We draw one cardboard wall and then the other. Assuming this is our basic 3D box, we can then proceed to mark the halfway point along this wall and draw out the roof which we'll also find follows our 30 degree line. To detail that out a little further, uh, our roof overhangs a little so our walls are protected, a window along this wall, a door perfectly centered along this wall and a dormer window. So this drawing is what we call an isometric view when the grid is drawn at 30 degrees. There's another drawing type called an axonometric view and the angle is drawn uh, at 45 degrees, which I won't sketch now, but it's kind of easy to imagine. With this drawing here, we understand the shape and form of the house, but we can't see the back, for instance. So let's draw the elevation from the other side, or actually let's draw the elevation from all four sides, looking at the four different walls, which we can assume are facing the four cardinal directions. So these four elevations that we are drawing here are the north, east, west and south elevations of the house. Naming it this way helps us avoid confusions as to which the front of the building really is, especially when buildings get more and more complex. Coming back to our 3D isometric view, we can't see the insides of this house with this drawing unless we cut it open. So that's exactly what we'll do. We're going to cut the house open like we are cutting up a huge cake with an extremely large, very flat knife. In other, more geometric words, we are going to cut this house along a plane. With the house drawn in 3D again, we draw the line along which we will make the incision as it were. If we were to darken the back of the house only along our sectional lines, the walls with their cardboard thickness, the sloped roof and the floor. This is what we call a sectional view. The insides can now be drawn, but a portion of it is still hidden behind this wall. So let's draw it out. Looking at it from this direction, like an elevation looking directly into the cut portion of the house. The thick lines imply that it's a sectional line, like we've drawn for the walls, the roof and the floor. This drawing with the cut walls and roof drawn as an elevation is called a sectional elevation or simply a section. 
the next thing we'll attempt is similar to a section but this time we'll slice through the entire house and remove the top away. If we were to draw the 3D shape of the house again and uh, do our new incision line cutting through the doors and windows, we see the insides of the whole house. Again, we are missing a portion of it. But we'd see it if we viewed this sliced house from on top. So let's draw that out. Similar to the section, we draw thick lines to show what has been cut. The walls especially. We leave openings for the doors and windows and then draw them in with the swing of the door so you know how the door opens, the windows too. We can also put in some of our furniture, a table and a couple of chairs near the window. A bed uh, and a nice comfy chair near the fireplace, no? Uh, over a rug. This uh, rather beautiful drawing is what we call a plan. So with this, we've covered what elevations are, what a 3D isometric view is, what sectional views are, and the last but really the most important of all our drawings, the plan. We've covered the basics of the different drawing types, and this should help us dive into some more conversation about different building components, which is lined up for you in the next video. If you have any questions, please ask us in the comments below and we'll try to answer them as quickly as we can. Thanks for watching. This was our very first video and we have many more in the pipeline. Uh, wish us luck! Turns out that YouTube has provided a handy button for you to do just that.